preferences. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out, boy. You'll shoot your eye out. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, with the new influx of people, I think we might need to... We're going to go ahead and restore suit making. We actually have a lot of new places for people to work as well, which is good. So let's go ahead and make another cookhouse with all of our wood. Put this. Where are we going to put this? Ah! Oh, I wish it would fit. Ah! I wish it would fit there as well. Um, okay, let's just put it right here. And then let's make some more hunter's huts as well. Because that only costs wood as well. Perfect. Perfect indeed, chat. This should go very well. Let's speed things up again. Let the workers do their work. Look at all these people going to build things. Damn, I love that. That is really cool. <laughs> Let them do what they were meant to do. Order, people. Let's march to work. Let's march to work, Chad. Let's march to work. Alright. So we should research stop. Why? You better hurry up. You better hurry up. Damn, they build those fast. Really fast. All right, let's go and get all of those full of workers. And then as soon as we get 20 steel, we're gonna heat these areas. The heck? Oh, that's why they're not connected. There might be some weird geometry or something, we'll see. We will see. All right, there is a problem. They are unarmed. Captain, the approaching chains are carrying no weapons. Whatever their intentions, they have no means of attacking us. The people are wary. It's a trick to catch, off, to catch us off guard. The lords are cunning. Those leeches would do anything to get back at us. Mark my words. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die, Chad. Hmm. Okay, okay. Everything's going pretty well. We're gonna. We should get 20 wood here. Pretty. I mean, 20. 20 steel here pretty, pretty shortly. Generator has been researched. So we're gonna go and research bunkhouses. Go ahead and start building those. Speed through the day. Prowsville, you have gave your people time to rest. People feel ready to work hard again, hell yeah. They better be, they better be. Okay, there's our 20 steel, which means there's our steam hub. Let's heat all the houses we can. Is there a way to build a street in between these areas? There is. Let's do that. And then let's put this thing right in the middle. That should heat it perfectly. All of them perfectly. Ooh, actually maybe it won't. Yeah, we need to heat this other steam this other steam mill. Build a, a, sh a road there as well, maybe right here. Let's see. How many how goes the sweet PVE action? Hi, hi man. How goes the sweet PVE action? It goes wonderfully. We are doing our best to survive and save these refugees. We're doing pretty well. We're doing this is this this colony has been quite a success so far. Let's go ahead and max out the people working at this hunter's hunt because we need to. Uh, let's go ahead and put some more people at the guard stations. And uh, everything else, since we have a huge influx of workers just now, or we had a huge influx of workers just now. Let's go ahead and max out the people working at the cookhouse. We have tons of child laborers if we needed them. We don't, though. That's about it. All right. Let's see. What difficulty are you playing at? We are playing at the base difficulty that starts, each situation starts at. So I think that's, that's medium. Uh, we're going through and doing each scenario in turn. So this is the this is the third and final one, and then we're probably gonna go back and maybe do a base a or a original game 
uh, on hard difficulty after we finish this one. Nice and normal, absolutely. Absolutely. You definitely become much more adjusted to the game over these three scenarios. It's been really fun. I very much have been enjo enjoying it. How are you today, by the way, Backpack Life? And welcome in. All right. Do we want to... Oh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta make the Steam Core. We got to. If we don't... See, that one house out there is gonna be freezing, but I feel like that's worth it to keep the steel mines working. Or is it? Which it might not be. Hell yeah, it's an awesome game. I really have been enjoying it so much more than I thought I would. It has been a phenomenal experience so far. I wish we could position this slightly better, but I think we might have to leave that one steel mill in the cold and just heat the houses. I think that might be what we need to go for. Either that or we could, you no, know, we could, we could do, we, we do have more, we have more housing right now than we have people, so I should break this down. Ooh, they're all cold, okay. I take it back. We actually, we, pr we probably need to just go ahead and put this down, because they're they're all going to freeze to death if we don't. Let's just cover all the houses and, and be fine with it. That's fine. This stream is a phenomenal experience to be. Thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate that, my man. I've been having a lot of fun. <laughs> I have as well, so I'm glad we've both been in the same boat, dude. Metaphorically, this is not a boat. This is a stream. For those that may have been confused, I don't want to mislead the masses, to mislead the viewers, chat. This is an internet mirage. It is not a physical boat in water. All right, now let us continue. We are making soup. Oh, we gotta designate what we're gonna be making over here. That is, that's what we need to designate. With. So let's try and make normal food, I think, over here. And maybe, since we have all these new workers, maybe make another hunter's uh, house as well. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and do this. The hunter's houses do not need to be heated. We found that out a while ago, a while ago, due to some helpful viewer intervention. Um, since the hunters don't actually work there, they, they go out immediately upon entering the hunter's house. Oh, chat you beauties. Chat you beauties. It is going very fast here. We should get all of our construction done shortly. This place is being heated up, which is desirable. Um, we had to leave the heater on here. It's cold still in the steelworks. We c what we could do is potentially research an increase in range. Um, how's our steel looking? Our steel is still increasing, but we may actually want to just go ahead and bump it down to two because it's only 40 degrees Celsius. I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna do that because this place is gonna be cold regardless. Yeah, looks good. And we also wanna be building a new heater over here or extending the range of our heaters, one of those two. So we may actually just go ahead and go in after we finish researching this. What time is it? Let's, let's... I think what we're gonna do is pull a 24 hour... How many days do we have left? Seven days! Okay, we got plenty of time. I thought we were gonna be pinched much more for that until the Lords got here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pull a 24 hour um, stint because as you can see, discontent as at an all time low. Is it an all time low? Lurks in the distance, you shambo. Enjoy that distance lurk, my friend. I appreciate it, I really do. He's gonna be actually trying to be entertaining, it's refreshing, back, back, live! <laughs> Why would, uh, anyone not try and be entertaining? It's also partially just because I really love doing this. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> it is uh, an, it's an enjoyable experience for me to put on the show, it really is. It is indeed still scenario three, simply gnome. Uh, we are making our way really well. As you can see, we have almost zero discontent, although that's about to go up because we're going to research through the night. Um, and we also have expanded quite a bit. We have 330 people in here. But we're taking it pretty fast compared to how our previous expeditions have been going. Expeditions, excursions, what it, cities have been. We have a lot of viewers just seem to be grinding a job. I would say that that is true but not always true i have come across some very entertaining and good live uh live large streamers if you would like i can always recommend you some as well one that i can always recommend is man vs game he is a beautiful example of an entertaining streamer ezekiel the third is another one uh i've always found co-carnage to be a bit more relaxed and chill but also 
always working on improving his craft. Those are three examples of very big streamers. Uh, some more mid-tier ones are Resorty. But yeah. I've heard a lot watching low population channels and finding people who just want to play and have fun. I feel you, dude. That makes sense as well. I would say both of those are absolutely valid ways uh, of approaching Twitch. I like them both. I do indeed. <laughs> we do indeed play games to have fun here. We do indeed. And even if I was larger, actually, to be completely honest, I probably would still be playing games to have fun. I just, I just enjoy doing this too much. I really do. I mean, I'd appreciate you if you were still high population. Simply no. I, I would appreciate you if I was high population. But either way, man. <laughs> either way, I'm going to enjoy doing what I do. And for now, at least we're going to be low population. And that is absolutely A-OK. -okay. <laughs> By the way, Simply no, how are you tonight? Welcome back in, my friend. How has your day been? Ooh. Oh, we're done with research. Nice. That went so much faster than I thought it would. Probably because we did an overnight shift. Uh, I think we might want to go ahead and get heater efficiency up. No. Actually, we've never really tried this before. But I think Steam Hub range could be really good. Because uh, we can decide which ones we want to have at a higher range. And the one like near the, ste the steel mill and the coal mill would be perfect for that, I think. I'm sorry I was trying to rip on you. I support the little guys. Oh, no. Backpack live. Dude. I completely understand where you're coming from. You do not you do not need to explain uh, what you're saying. I just wanted to elaborate on what I was thinking and where I was coming from. I definitely, definitely know what you mean, dude. Absolutely. I definitely know what you mean. I actually completely understand that, that view on viewer experience because it really can be more fun to watch smaller channels a lot of times. I just wanted to express the fact that I personally uh, believe that larger streamers can also be interactive and fun. But... I do know where you're coming from in that a lot of larger streamers are uh, are grinding and don't feel like they are having fun anymore. Absolutely, dude. Now, you do not have to apologize for, the, for that at all. I was just further discussing it because I think it's an interesting topic to discuss. It is very in integral to Twitch culture in general. Uh, the divide between fun, making it your job, and playing video games. Not yet, demons. Not yet. Jumping the gun as always, man. The Van Hammer will not have you for a lot longer. Good. Finished up some Dead by Daylight. Very cool. Dude, you really love that game. You really love that game. And I love that you love that game. And it's co-op Stardew Valley earlier. Has it uh, gotten better for you as you've gone further into it? Is the experience still just a more efficient kind of solo player experience like you were saying earlier or is it uh, changed up as you've gotten deeper into the game I was watching some co-op earlier and it seemed pretty it seemed pretty cool uh, two days ago or earlier ooh this is too cold you can't we should just be able to heat this up uh, what I'm hoping is when we get this research extended range here for this heater it'll be able to reach both this cookhouse this coal house and this steel house these are the only ones we really need extended range on uh, yeah. We can go and turn those on for the heater. Ooh, that as well. We don't want people working in the cold. Chad, we can't have these fools getting sick. Can't have it. It's a really chill game. I believe you do. I believe you. I've seen people playing and it does look fun. It looks very fun. Is it something to do with hanging out with people on Discord sort of thing? I can feel that. That would make sense. I mean, the game is already all about like forming and building a community inside of the game. So it kind of makes sense that multiplayer in Stardew Valley would be a natural conduit uh, from which, oh god, the temperature is falling. All right, I think we, I think we are gonna want to bump up to tier three here. It's gonna take time, but we should be, we should be fine. Gonna turn that up, turn that up as well. We want, at the very least, the working spaces to be not chilly because I feel like people have a tendency to get sick in the working spaces really easily turn those down. Good. Very good indeed. Come, lads. We must work harder. We must. We must indeed. Multiplayer for this game. Two to four city star. Oh! Backpack live. I hadn't even thought of that. Now that would be really cool. 
maybe even compete for resources in the surrounding area and like uh, you could have things and obviously this would this is probably never gonna happen because that would take so much work but it would be really awesome you could like have raids on each other potentially but not like violent raids just like stealing raids where you could try and like sabotage each other's like smaller uh, resource tents like you could steal say from this re resource depot 300 um, 300 food rations and maybe if they had a faith system in place they could get their faith guards or whatever they're called to, to halt it and like arrest them that would be so cool yes resource wars oh my god that, I had not thought of that at all but that would be so much fun if well orchestrated and I, I will put a kind of caveat there that I feel like that would be very hard to orchestrate well but damn would that be fun that would be really fun we're getting to more creative farm layout. Ooh, cool, because you can do it with the, the increased efficiency. And people on tasks with optimization, because, again, increased efficiency with people. Because that's what I do. And bankroll the other stuff so people can buy mills and ranches and animals. Damn, that's the one thing. I feel like it'd be so much easier to just expand like crazy in Stardew Valley uh, with a bunch of people that <laughs> are all working towards a common goal. You do that now with multi-stream, that's true, and just do no pause race to X game. Could be fun. That's a fair point, Sibley Dome. That is a fair point, indeed. Uh, it wouldn't be quite the same. And again, it would be hard to orchestrate, and it wouldn't be quite the same as like being able to steal stuff in, in the same game. But it would be at least at least doable in the multi-stream. It's true. I don't think there is either, Backpack Life. Mostly because I feel like it'd be hard to balance and optimize, especially competitively. And I don't know if the market for that game would be super high, but maybe it would. I don't know. Especially with these types of games becoming more popular. It'd be a thing. Backpack Live! In the future, if I see a video game like that, and it says main dev company Backpack Live, I'm gonna give you a holler. <laughs> yeah, it would be it would be niche indeed, but I think but increasingly, especially as gaming has expanded the last five ten years to just blow up like it has, things like that can exist. I wouldn't be surprised if something like that uh, were to come about in the next five years. I think it could be successful. The lords are approaching, Chad, facing the lords, Captain. The lords are nearly here. There are many of them, but they look miserable. They seem to be carrying no food or supplies like the idiots they are. Beg us for help. They will have no choice but to beg us for help. You will have to decide their fate. Ooh, should we be nice to them? I don't know. I feel like we've been doing morally conscious things generally. Triangle, you ever look at Vermintide 2? I did, Simply Gnome. We actually opted out of playing it. I was looking into playing it pretty heavily, uh, but at least on the stream, I kind of shy away from multiplayer experiences just because I really like to play as a single player and dedicate the time to chat interaction and um, just getting really deep into games if I can. And while Vermintide 2 was available for, let's go ahead and play this for a little bit, for multiplayer, uh, for single player, it just didn't feel like it would be nearly as much fun to play single player. And it, it also looked kind of grindy, so we decided not to, uh, not to give it a look. Yeah, that's true. Things are indeed doable nowadays on a minimal budget. That's, that's the other thing with with gaming getting more and more accessible to devs. It's totally fair, being able to split attention to audiences is a thing, yeah, absolutely. That's the reason we avoid multiplayer. And then when, when a game doesn't, look, to me, look like it would be much fun out of multiplayer, I usually choose to skip it. Though it did look like it would be a game up my alley. And then also the directory was flooded for it as well. So there was a, com a, 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 a big list of compounding things that just kind of made me not, not pick the game up. I'm not afraid of a big directory with things like God of War, obviously we just finished that Platinum, but when uh, I'm not super interested to begin with, sometimes we'll, we'll, not, we'll not do that. It can be a factor. It's not super grungy, but it's definitely not a good single player experience. Oh, well there you go, I was right! I'm glad to know I read that situation right. Uh, because to be completely honest, I was kind of looking forward to playing the game before it came out, and then it came out and I, I kind of watched people play it and I realized might not quite be what I'm looking for for the channel. Yeah, yeah, grinding. I, <laughs> I, I got what you meant, simply though. However, I did also misread it when, <laughs> when you typed it out. It is a super fun game, though. I'm glad to hear that. I've, um, I've seen some people look like they really enjoy it. Really enjoy it 
an awful lot. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving forward, chat. Let's actually speed up a little bit. We have so many resources. It's actually great. We're actually overstocking on food, which is something we've rarely done in the past. Uh, but it's just because we have so many people actually working. Uh, we have more people in this scenario than I think we've ever had in any other scenario before. All right. What do we just finish researching? Oh, the improved heat. No. Oh, the steam hub range. Okay, let's give this a pause real quick. And let's see. We, we can flick this on, right? It's already on range settings, too. So it, I think it is getting this now, right? Hey, Hell yeah! That works out so well. We do have to make sure we turn all the other ones down, though, that we don't want. Look at that! They're all being heated! It's beautiful, chat! It is beautiful. Alright, where are all our steam hubs? One, two, three, four. I think we only have four right now. We have one here as well. And we want to we go and turn that one down in range. Let's watch our heat. So just, just these two. All right, perfection. Good! That worked so well. Better than I thought it was going to work, to be honest. Although I don't know why I thought it wouldn't be super successful. It works great. Let's be honest, Frostpunk, bro. Frostpunk, I know! It's so good. It's so good. And to be honest, Backpack Live, I don't have like a strong history of playing these types of like city building strategy like uh resource squeezing types of games uh or resource monitoring types of games so i was hesitant to pick this up but damn am i glad i did because it has been so much fun i mean we've we've put a good 30 hours into it already since i picked it up they're bells instead of thermometers what do you mean by that they are Bells instead of thermometers? I'm not sure if I um, know what you mean. Uh, we don't need to worry about that watchtower. We should be fine. Okay, cool. Very cool indeed. Oh, that's the other thing. We can go ahead and turn this one to only be 6 to 20. Actually, what is the work? What are the work hours here? 8 to 18. Okay. Heatups are bells. The delay in stream. Oh, yes. Yes, they. They're here! The people are here! I know. Although, unfortunately, they are going to be re reducing the stream delay here pretty soon, which would be good. Face the lords. The delay in stream. Yeah, I hope that the low latency feature should be coming to a lot of different streams, including this one pretty soon, so I'm, I'm hyped for that. Lords in rags. Captain, the lords have arrived. They're starving. There are at least a hundred of them. A hundred! And more are coming. They beg us to let them in, but what? But that would mean sharing our food supplies and finding them shelter. Hmm. This seems problematic. Well, two days to provide shelter for everyone and feed the people. We should, I actually might be able to do this. I used a stream was like 40 second delay. Yeah, we're, we should be about like seven to 15, depending on your location and the Twitch server you're using. Um, but they're offering low latency now, well, it's in beta, we don't have the beta version of it, but they soon will be rolling it out where it's like half a second, like 0.5 seconds, and god am I ready for that, that's gonna be beautiful. Kiss home, you're at home now, hopefully with the baby and the wife, my man. Congrats, enjoy getting settled in, dude. Enjoy getting settled in. Alright, let them in, I'll improve the food infrastructure. We have two days to provide shelter for everyone and build industrial hothouses. Four hunters, or hunters hangers. Three internal discontent will, and hope will fall. Two days we're at shelter for people and feed people. Hope will fall. Ooh. Well, I don't think we can do this second time. The second thing, but I think we can do the first thing, especially with the bulk of people we have. We should be able to build lots of uh, resource hangers that can, we can just employ a mess ton of people in, and we should be able to, hopefully, get enough food for what do we have we're at 400 people right now so 500 people we have a backlog of stock of like i don't know 700 ish food so hopefully let's do this one let's not make promises we don't think we can keep but we should also look to research the uh, higher level resource gains the arrival of so many starving people requires immediate action we must feed and find homes for them as soon as possible okay let's do it chat let's do it we will be kind we will be nice I mean, we'll save these fools from themselves. Right, so we're going to start with tents. We're going to build 
all kinds of intense tense. That was a pun that I probably shouldn't have gone for. Invalid. Oh. Huh. So I guess this is knocking up against the wall is what it looks like. <laughs> I guess we can put some more houses up here. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that indeed. Mm, or we could just expand. Let's see if it paused. What are these fools? Lords and Mags are starving lords of the city. Our people are not happy with the arrival. The lords, on the other hand, are rejoicing. As they should. Us peasants are saving them. Thank you, kind people. We'd have been doomed if you hadn't let us in. Let's do it. So my phone just closed out of my Twitch app and no. She said she was going to clean all night, so I left it to her parents. I left her at her parents. Wow. Well, I hope that goes well for you, Kizom. I hope that goes well for you. <laughs> you do you, my man. Okay, perfect. Uh, well, not perfect. Actually, people can be really pissed about this. But hopefully it works out, I guess. We are, there's no way we can build bunkhouses for everyone. But I think we might be able to build... Alright, let's see really quickly. Where is this little steam hub? There it is, right there. I should just look for the steam. I don't know why I was trying to find... Alright, if we extend the range of it... You'll be able to squeeze in houses on the edges that are heated. Boom, boom. Invalid placement! Curses! Invalid placement. Oh, there's some more. Good stuff. Boom. I think that still will be able to squeeze in and be heated as well. Boom. That's invalid placement. Boom! Yeah! Alright, one more. Build some roads. Good thing we had a backlog of wood. Or a stockpile of wood, I should say. Pretty good. Let's extend, extend the road here. We must improve our infrastructure, chat. We must improve our in infrastructure and keep things hot, heated, and well to do. Okay, so we just finished research as well. So which means I believe we're gonna go ahead and start researching improved food. Uh, since we do seem to be doing okay with the coal we have. Although, actually, let's look at the temperature. Ah, it's going to drop, but then it's going to increase again. Everything is pretty damn hot, so when it, when it, when it drops here, it'll just be chilly. Uh, which is... It sh it sh that should be okay. So let's go for... Go for the heater efficiency. So I think the next things we probably want to do are the difference engine. So tier four research, uh, and then maybe we could do the flying hunters. We could just do hunting tactics. What does this do? Oh, it just we don't we don't need to worry about that because we have way too many people as it is. Twenty steel to even start researching. That is some craziness. All about keeping the buggers working. That's right. So what it's all about. We have 146 people unemployed. Jesus, man. Jesus! Jesus crust. Okay. Now. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we, we do have some steam cores here, so maybe we could just replace... This is what we're gonna do. We have tons of children not working as well. Um, so I think what we might do here is... Just to make sure we have plenty of steel at all times, replace this with a steam coal thumper. And then build with their extra wood some more gathering posts around this area. They can just fit in, in there. And where else is it heated? Ooh, that's a bit problematic. And get the children <laughs> to continue working. Unemployed children, you monster! I know! I can't believe what was I thinking back back then. What we should be doing is employing those children. Employing them. Imploring them to be employed. Yes, this is actually our first excursion into child labor. And while I feel a bit bad about it, there's a lot of children and a lot of work to be done. So I guess I don't feel that bad about it. Mm. It's gonna be cold, but eh, it'll be okay. 
All right, that's the lowest on work we've been in a long time. Actually, we probably should have gone out and gotten some more resources. I thought that this, the storm, or the, not not a storm in this case, but the the royals coming, or the nobles coming, was actually going to be the end. It was going to be like some confrontation, but, we, but I, I now realize we actually just have to keep them alive. So if I'd known that, we would have sent more people out to explore, but I didn't know that because this is our first time, so that is part of the game.